Dubai, the ultramodern city of the United Arab Emirates, where the Emiratis make up fewer than 15% of the city's population, but many of whom live in luxury with private jets, chefs, and extravagant cars. Welcome to Luxurious and Chic, where we will be showing you everything about luxury and help you experience the billionaire lifestyle. Do check the links in the description if you too would like to experience a life of abundance. Let's take a look into the life of Dubai's wealthiest family that made Dubai the playground of the wealthy. It's difficult to envision Dubai without the skyline that it has now. Every year, the city is graced with new achievements in architecture. The infinite tourism and retail opportunities, as well as the city's outstanding security, healthcare, and education, make Dubai look like a desirable place to live, work, or even vacation. It wasn't always high-tech towers and buildings. The current ruler and prime minister of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the man who transformed Dubai from a desert territory and a fishing town to a global financial powerhouse and a playground for the wealthy. He was seen by the British handing over the seven emirates and transforming Dubai into what it is today. And as he accelerated the city's development, he gained wealth beyond our wildest dreams. The Al Maktoum family is Dubai's governing dynasty, and suffice to say, they live a lavish lifestyle. Sheikh Mohammed alone is worth $18 billion. He is the CEO of Dubai Holdings, a multinational investment firm. He founded Emirates Airlines and oversaw the construction of Al Maktoum International Airport and Dubai International Airport. If you've ever had the pleasure of passing through Dubai's International Airport's Terminal 3, you'll know that it's a high-end mall and hotel packed into one, equipped with a spa and gym. With such a portfolio, he has deservedly amassed fortune and wisely invested it in a diverse portfolio of assets beyond the Middle East. In Monaco, he owns the La Belle Epoque penthouse. The three-bedroom, 17,500-square-foot duplex penthouse includes a double-height library, a cinema, leisure rooms, expansive roof terraces, an infinity pool, and a media room with convertible chairs. A panic room with thick glass and security areas is also available. All of this and more cost $308 million to shake, which is certainly a drop in the bucket for him. A 63,000-acre estate at Inverinet in Scotland features a 14-bedroom manor and a 16-bedroom guest house. This property was purchased for $2.5 million over 30 years ago, which is roughly $5.5 million today. He also paid $60 million for Dalham Hall in the United Kingdom, which is a wise investment because it allowed him to pursue one of his favorite activities, horse racing. To say Sheikh Mohammed is obsessed with horses is an understatement. He would regularly forego meals as a student in Cambridge to save money for a train ticket to go horse racing. Later in 1996, he established the Dubai World Cup for horse racing. He has a key role in worldwide thoroughbred horse racing and breeding, therefore it's no surprise that he controls Darley Stud, the world's largest horse breeding facility. Darley Stud, on the outskirts of Newmarket, Suffolk, lies right close to Dalham Hall and cost him $500 million. Darley Stud also administers the racing activities of Sheikh Mohammed and other members of the Maktoum family in addition to training stallions for racing. Furthermore, he is the owner of Gainsborough Stud in Kentucky. It was formerly owned by Sheikh Maktoum bin Rashid Al Maktoum, but after his death, Sheikh Mohammed combined it with his own Darley Stud company. Let's talk about his home and his means of travel. His official mansion in Dubai, the Sheikh Mohammed Palace or Zabil Palace, is reported to be worth $400 million. It's around 6 kilometers from the Dubai frame and encircled by the city's stunning skyline of skyscrapers. Otto Bullard, who also created the clock tower in Dubai, designed it. The palace is surrounded by well-kept lush gardens and peacocks. If you're ever in Dubai, you can make a trip to the grounds, but don't get too close because security is tight there. It is not uncommon to see the sheikh in his car or out and about in the city. You'll frequently see him or one of his kids driving his iconic Mercedes G63 AMG, which is a favorite of both the royals and the Dubai police force. This car is valued at over $260,000, not including the unique upgrades done for his convoy. 
The Sheikh has almost 100 cars in his collection, but what do you expect from a Dubai Royal? BMWs, Rolls Royces, Mercedes Benzes, Ferraris, and even some vintage automobiles are among the collection's highlights. He's also the proud owner of the Devil 16, which debuted at the 2017 Dubai International Motor Show. It costs $2.2 million and consists of an extremely lightweight and high-strength carbon fiber body. It is claimed to be the world's fastest car, with a top speed of 560 km per hour or 347 miles per hour. He's presumably on his yacht when he's not driving around the metropolis, he constructed from the ground up or racing thoroughbreds. Andrew Winch designed the yacht to buy, which incorporates a floating dock that was brought by the Blue Marlin via Turkey. Currently, the yacht is docked at the front of the Sheikh's own islands. A helipad, two 10-meter motorboats, a dining room for 90 people, and a 10-meter swimming pool are all part of the yard. A submarine, 20 water bikes, a lobster tank, a cinema, and a squash court are all available. You'd have no need to leave this vessel at all. This 8-deck, 631-foot luxurious yacht cost the Sheikh $300 million and can accommodate 88 staff members and 115 guests. Of course, many of these privileges are also enjoyed by his children. Sheikh Mohammed has 23 children, the eldest of whom is the most well-known in the country, if not the globe. Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai, is the UAE's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance and Industry with a net worth of $400 million. Sheikh Hamdan, like his father, is a horse racing fanatic who founded Shadwell Racing in the United Kingdom in 1981. He now owns eight stud farms across the world, as well as 200 regally bred mares and top stallions. He also has a sizable automobile collection back home, perhaps not as remarkable as his father's, but still noteworthy. His pure gold car collection alone is valued at $59.6 million. Yes, that's right. The Prince of Dubai owns a gold-plated automobile collection. It features a Porsche 918 Spider valued $845,000, although we're sure a gold version of the same car would fetch millions. It also features a $2 million Lamborghini Aventador, a Mercedes G63 AMG, a Range Rover Vogue, two Rolls Royces, a Nissan Godzilla GTR, a Bugatti, and a Ferrari all in gold. That isn't to say he is solely interested in high-end automobiles and race horses. He donates blood, drives to the Autistic Center on a regular basis, and even organizes athletic events such as yoga and marathons in Dubai. He is also the creator of the Prince Hamdan Charity Foundation, which has provided more than $20 million in medical equipment to relief missions around the world. The Al Maktoum family, as luxurious as their lifestyle is, is nonetheless quite down-to-earth in the way they dress and carry themselves. Frequently seen conversing with people and traveling about their city without any security. Can you picture a royal family from another country doing something like that? This, of course, is a testimonial to the country's safety and the people's affection for the reigning family there. Sheikh Mohammed devised a Vision 2021 strategy in 2010, focusing on stimulating innovation, empowering the youth, making investments in health education and science and research, and building good governance to improve Dubai's fortunes. His vision, wisdom, and positivity, as well as his unwavering drive and willingness to improve and reach top global rankings, were the driving forces behind the development of Dubai and the creation of a stable future for its residents and citizens. What do you think of Dubai's royal family? Do tell us in the comments! And if you want to know about the most expensive things in the world, look inside the lives of the wealthiest people on the planet, or how to achieve success in your life, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to hit the like button!